Okay, okay gamers. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day to be gaming. Would you, Would you be, be mine? mine? It's a beautiful day in Belladonna Cove. It's a beautiful day for gaming. Would you be mine? Won't you please? Won't you please? Would you be my gamer? All right, folks, let's do this. We're back in Belladonna Cove. I've got hopefully my mic. Ex <laughs> I'm ready to speak. Um, I've got my mic issues fixed. Hopefully we're, we're going to see. Bella's here watching over us as she has been all these years in our Astro Legacy challenge. And I am ready for this. Let's go. Here we are back at the Astro Legacy house back with our six adult sims and four pets in one household, back in my personal hell, ready to give you another episode of the Sims 2 Astro Legacy Challenge. And Ravi's here, inappropriately checking out Grizabella, our Capricorn matriarch of the Astro Legacy household. He's helping himself to a drink. Ugh, while we were away at college, I had almost forgotten about Ravi and I didn't miss him. Didn't miss this guy. I'm glad that you guys are with me, that Ravi's just a weirdo. Ravi's just a weirdo. Look at that ass. That's not nice. Can you can we get can we get like uh, Christy's ass back on screen, please? Wow, Christy has got junk in her trunk. Look at wow. Look at how it's moving. Look at how <laughs> the light just doesn't know what to do with the polygons of Ravi's ass. <laughs> okay, now that we're done objectifying Ravi for the episode, um, Boo's here. Let's give it up for Boo, everybody. Still haunting the house. Long after her death, his death, I don't, it's, it's tragic that I can't even remember what Boo's gender was. <laughs> um, last episode, ah uh, yes, last episode, I rushed into a renovation at the end of the episode before properly assessing our funds and got, just stopped dead in my tracks. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do when we start out today on our Astro Legacy Challenge is I'm going to, I'm, I... Guys, I am grounded. I am grounded from buy mode. Um, if I try to buy anything else for the foreseeable future, remind me in the comments below that I'm grounded and I am not allowed to spend money. Our family, at, look at all the pee on the ground. Look at all the pee on the ground. Our family has gotten a little out of control in the past couple of episodes. The last few episodes I recorded for the Astro Legacy Challenge were a little chaotic. Oh fuck, I just remembered that I, I got a mod to assign everyone's beds, uh, to reserve the beds. I found a reserve the beds mod finally, because I just couldn't take it anymore. Uh, but I haven't installed it yet. So maybe by next episode, I'll get that like installed. It's been chaos for the past few episodes. I'd like to formally apologize for episode. Okay, good. Everyone's in their correct bedroom, except for some reason, Robbie is in Midnight and Autumn's room. And I think he may have turned on their stereo. <laughs> Tell him to go home. Please. Oh, she's she's about to go straight to the bar. Get the fuck out of here, Robbie. Seriously, let me do my intro. <clears throat> Last episode, I went a little a little ham, if you will, and I started a renovation that I couldn't complete. I tried to write a check that my Sims bank couldn't cash. So uh, I am now grounded from the buy mode. I have I want to say that at the beginning of this episode, at the beginning of the next couple episodes, Hannah is grounded from buying or just spending the money because we're on the second generation, almost the third generation of this Astro Legacy Challenge, which I neglected to say is a 12 generation legacy challenge that has the theme of astrology. You can watch the other 30 something episodes to get the gist of what that exactly means. Uh, but uh, we are nearing the third, almost fourth generation of this family and we're way too poor. What do we have to show for it? 4,000 simoleons in the bank? A ghost cat that won't go away? We do have a lot of like property, I will give us that. We have made investments. We own like two other lots in addition to our house. We own Grizabella, Grizabella. We own Grizabella grounds and God, the, the pets, they're running everywhere. Oh my God, look, Boo just filled up the bathtub. I didn't even know she could do that. He could do that. They could do that. They were probably like, I was, we're, we, we bathe your pets, I think is what Boo is trying to say. But yeah. I 
feel like we should be a lot richer than we are. I was, as I was editing the past couple episodes, uh, I was noting how Grizabella literally, I think, was the only Sim with a job in this six person house for the past, like since everyone got home from college. Last episode, we did get Autumn finally in her career track of choice. This bar is gonna be such a, just, this is a bad idea. Everyone's just been hitting up the bar. <laughs> And they're in a bad mood. But um, what all of this to say, we got Autumn into her job. Her lifetime goal is to become a criminal mastermind, which I think is so funny. And uh, she finally got into the entry level. Everyone's just lining up to have alcohol at 1 a.m. on a Sunday. <laughs> this is the state of the Astro Legacy house right now. We are a wreck. I have let, like, I have let everything run out of control. Um, I think I, like Grizabella, as the mom of this family, have not enforced rules on everyone else in this house. Spencer, he's allowed to be unemployed. He's the amazing father of these kids. But the four grown-ass adults in this house need to get their shit together. Autumn, she's gotten into her criminal career track. We are happy for her for that. Christy, obviously my favorite of the four adults in the house right now, she needs to get a job because we are in dire... She was also in line to make a drink. What is wrong with everyone? Why are you all like this? Uh, although the, the two sets of adults just got married, we've had lots of vacation time recently. So vacation time is over. It's not vacation time. It's not vacation time. It's time for everyone to get a job. It's time for us to make some money. I am grounded from buy mode. I can't, I cannot believe. Are you guys just sating your hunger? Yeah, you guys are all sating your hunger with alcohol. That is not, oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, it was, that's why. Okay, that this was my fault. This was all my fault. <laughs> Last episode, I, in my, when I went on a tear, uh, I started to build a new extension to the house. As a result, I wasted all of our money. I had ordered groceries, everyone's favorite part of the episode, and I didn't have enough left to pay the grocery person. Roll tape. Man, oh man. Like, I'm gonna do a renovation of the house when I have no money. Uh, she took our, fridge and i wanted to point out in the edit that i didn't even notice uh just like the beginning of this episode i didn't even notice that she had taken away our fridge um and so uh yeah we weren't able to have food so everyone in the house was drinking to fill their appetite bar so so sorry for almost making the entirety of the astro legacy house alcoholics that was my mistake. I've done a bad job. I am a bad god of these Sims. It's okay, I'm getting my shit together. It's January, new year, new us. Everyone's getting jobs. Everyone is not allowed to spend money unless it's for things like groceries, you know, stuff we have to spend money on. I am no longer allowed to buy stuff on a whim until we hit the financial goal of like, I don't know, multiple thousands of simoleons in the bank. Once I hit that monetary goal, let's see, I kind of want to just arbitrarily set a goal here. Oh my God. That's also why P is happening. Boo scaring people. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Chaos, chaos in the Astro Legacy house. Oh my God, I'm gonna kill myself. Holy, oh my God, oh my God, no, 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 no. Seth, get up. Seth, plead, plead, plead for loved one. Oh my God, boo, how could you? No, this can't be what just happened. No, no, everyone plead. Everyone plead for Christy. Everyone plead for Christy who can. Right the fuck now. No! Christy was my favorite! Christy, obviously my favorite of the four adults. No! No! This can't be what's happening! Please, bring her back! No! Oh my god, I feel, I feel so bad. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, he's playing a high stakes game of behind this- oh my god. Yes! I think Seth, Seth brought her back! Yes! Oh my god! That's all I wanted! That's all! That's all I wanted! Oh my god, my producer, Jiminy Cricket, in the other room is probably like, what is the screaming? Oh my god, people are passing out. It's intense shit is happening in this house. Okay, first and foremost, we are getting boo the hell out of this house. That was uncalled for, boo. We are moving this grave. Okay, Seth just passed out, but that's okay. 
Um, everyone needs to grab a plate of uh, fucking grilled cheese. And we need to take Boo's grave away. That was a lot. Okay, sorry. I, I, I'm coming down from that. Um, first of all, first of all, whew, okay. Everyone was starving to death because the grocery lady had taken the refrigerator away from us. Then Christy was so low on her needs that when Boo came out and scared her, she died. Um, then Seth passed out because his needs are low too. Um, thankfully, Seth pled with the Grim Reaper successfully and brought Christy back from the, from death just now. And it, it really tired Seth out, it seems like. Um, I'm just trying to get everyone back in an okay mood so that no one will be at risk of death from Boo's ghost. And then when it's, I'm guessing, daytime, I'm going to wait till the daytime and I'm going to hope that Boo will go back to her own grave. And in the meantime... I'm just yeah, trying to keep everyone high enough mood uh, to survive in, in the meantime. And hopefully Boo will just stop. Oh my God, Boo moved. Okay, so Boo is not frozen because Boo moved. This is scary. I suddenly this Sims 2 game has turned into like Five Nights at Freddy's and I'm like looking for Boo's fucking ghost. Just wanting to make sure everyone will live. Seth, Seth, you've gone through a lot, honey, but I'm gonna need you. <sighs> It was such a curse to put stereos in everyone's rooms. Oh my God. But yeah, um, so now first, first thing that I am going to do is make sure that we move Boo's ghost to Grizabella grounds with everyone else's ghost. It is clearly a huge health hazard uh, for my Sims to have ghosts on the lot. That is the second time on my YouTube channel that a Sim has died from a ghost. Uh, thank God we brought her back. Do you understand? You don't even understand how upset I would have been. Christy is literally, I just said, Christy is my favorite adult Sim in this house right now. And I was about to just riot and die. Um, I was about to go crawl into an egg and die. If Christy was going to get taken away from me, I was about to be pissed. Um, so I'm glad that that's not the case. Well, how many minutes? Are We're 15 minutes into the episode, you guys. I feel like I've lived a year in this house already. Everyone's hunger is coming back. I'm hoping now maybe the, the grave is no longer in use. Yeah, okay. So we're taking a trip to Grizabella Grounds, you guys. And we are taking this this grave uh, to Grizabella Grounds. Um, for whatever reason, the car has been glitched out for uh, a while now. Are you guys walking to the lot or not? Oh my god. Okay, she's going. She's going. Can we lock this? Yeah, no one gets to come into Grizabella Grounds. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you guys have any tips on how to, you know, keep your game more healthy or any mods that help keep things from glitching out, or even just any tips about things that tend to glitch out Sims 2 games, let me know in the comments below. I would really, really appreciate it because I'm very scared of that. That's a very real threat to our Sims Astro Legacy Challenge. But this, for those who may have never seen it before, if you happen to be coming in kind of later on our Astro Legacy Challenge and haven't caught up yet on the full thing, uh, this is Grizabella Grounds. We also bought this during the second generation of our Astro Legacy Challenge. God, I could hear my chair popping a lot. I hope you guys aren't hearing that a lot. I'm sorry if so. I'm going to try to sit still. Um, but we acquired that during Grizabella's generation too. So we have gotten a lot of stuff. We have wasted, not wasted, but we've spent a lot of our money. But we have had technically a lot of money, which is fitting for our second generation, which is Capricorn. Um, but yeah, I... Oh my God, there's just so much havoc happening. Now that all of this has happened, we've safely moved Boo's grave out from the family. We're instilling a new rule that every time someone dies in this house, unfortunately, we're just gonna have to move them immediately to Grizabella Grounds because it's not worth the risk. I do not want my Sims to die due to fucking ghosts in the house because it's hard enough, as you can see, juggling all these people. Um, so. Yes, the most important things to take out of the chaos that happened just now this morning is I'm grounded. I cannot spend any money. I am going to go ahead and arbitrarily set the goal. Someone dug a massive hole out here. It's like bandit all over again. Uh, I am arbitrarily setting the monetary goal for us that we are not allowed to buy anything extraneous outside of like groceries and, and stuff we need until we hit like 50,000 simoleons in the bank. 
And I'm going to stick to that. I promise. Uh, and I am going to get everyone jobs. And we are going to just like save up a ton so that uh, we can then, when Grizabella kicks the bucket, do a... Why are you angry at Christy? Oh, my God. What's in your memories? Why would she be angry at Christy? Did something happen? Oh, my God. She is angry at Christy. What did she do? What did Christy do? Well, you got me. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. Who the fuck knows? Who knows? Okay, but anyway, here we are. Astro Legacy House, we're doing this for real this time. Last episode, I can't even remember what happened last episode. Oh, Seth and Christy got married last episode. Um, and that's kind of all, all that happened. Um, oh my God, this house is a mess. We've recently acquired three additional pets. Uh, yeah, we're saving up to 50,000 simoleons. Grizabella's in an era where she's writing a bunch of novels. For some reason, she's mad at Christy. And I have, I have truly no idea why. Oh, hey, Amber's here, everybody. Let's give it up for Amber. She cleans our house every day. And I'm glad that she's back because she... It is Amber Bartlett. Yeah, Amber, actually, that is something that happened last episode as well. Sorry, I keep knocking into the desk. I really hope it didn't capture that. Oh my God, our, we're behind on our bills too. Yes, uh, that's another thing that happened last episode is uh, we got to see Amber outside of her maid outfit. And it didn't seem, it seemed like she's a functional sim outside of cleaning our house every day, which actually really made me want to look into trying to invite her um, to live with us and just be like our live-in nanny because <laughs> she is technically an NPC or I just want her to be part of our family really badly. So I'm kind of tempted to try to get us to know her outside of her being our maid, but that might eliminate her from being our maid eventually, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't appreciate. I love Amber. She, I give it up for Amber every day. She cleans her house every day. So to check in real quick on the grand scheme of things, Grizabella has maxed her aspiration. She has achieved her lifetime once. Oh, she has a new lifetime want now of graduating three children from college. Well, that's too bad because you only had two children, Grizabella. So sorry about that. We're not achieving that want in your lifetime. But your two children did go to college. So you practically got there. Uh, it's like impossible for y'all to have a third at this point. And I'm not... Hold on. Someone just grew up. Garlic. Garlic grew up into a cat. Congrats, Garlic. Hey! Everybody, can we get a happy birthday garlic in the comments below? That's just a cat that we got a couple days ago. I don't know anything about other than uh, garlic is... Garlic's a Gemini, obviously. Spencer, on the other hand, is Papa. Uh, he came in. He is an Aquarius. He has also achieved his wants. Oh, he wants to have six grandchildren as his next want. That's hilarious. But we achieved his first platinum want of reaching his golden anniversary with Grizabella, which was very sweet. So effectively, second generation Capricorn, Grizabella checked off the list. Next, in line, we are going to be picking our heir to the third generation. Oh, I love it when they do this. They are so fucking cute together. Oh my God. I'm so glad he saved her from death, you guys. Um, Seth continues to slay as the eldest son um, he has never made a mistake in his life. Um, he's been, oh, you know what? You know what it's time for? I don't mean to interrupt this cute, cute, cute cuddle session that is happening right now, but I owe everyone. I need to give the people what they want. I need to give the people Seth's beard back. Last episode, we did buy clothes for everyone too. So we are going to take a second to get everyone into their new outfit. So Seth, he is an Aquarius. He is the eldest son of Gris Grisabella. His lifetime want is to become the prime minister of education. Not the prime minister, sorry, just the education minister. He wants to get to the top of the education education career. We are still currently searching for that in the job listings. He got his degree in psychology in college. He married his child love, Christy Oates, and he's a strong contender for the next generation of the legacy, the Astro Legacy house. Um, I'm definitely considering him. But first of all, esteemed ham was asking for a very specific combo of stuff. So give me just a second because I want to, I want to want to give that steamed ham what they want. I'm going to give the steamed hams everything they want today with Seth. Um, I just need to find that comment really fast. Okay, here we go. Please, please, please redo Seth with that suit and fedora from his first graduation and put him in the shorter full beard. Okay, so let's see. Oh yeah, the one in between the one he had and the Daniel Pleasant one, which I believe is this one maybe? Yeah, so I think it might be this one. Let me know 
And I know we want the fedora. I might, can I get the fedora? Oh yeah, I think I could just get hats. I don't have to buy hats. <laughs> I need to, re I need to, uh, I can't remember which fedora he had specifically from his graduation. I might have to pull that video back up. Hold on. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's the black fedora and he needs the black suit as well. We will go back and get that black suit, Steam Tam. I completely agree that that's the outfit he needs. Uh, okay. So give me just a second to find that fedora. Here it is. Here it is. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. It's been a second since I've seen Seth in the fedora. So yeah, that is Seth. That is Seth, our Aquarius. I did get Seth a, a specific outfit uh, last episode when we went and got clothes. It's not the same outfit that the Steam Tam was asking for, um, but we can definitely go back and get that black outfit. Uh, in the meantime, though, the outfit I got Seth to wear was this one. I <laughs> Stop going to the bar, Seth. Holy shit. There he is, folks. We've got the beard back. He's looking good. He's got the strange blinking patterns that his father has. And we've got the outfit on. What do you think? Seth Gerges, candidate for the heir to the Astro Legacy throne, Aquarius, goofball, and wants to be a teacher. Thank you, Seth. Thank you. Okay, next up is Midnight. Midnight is a Virgo. He is a train wreck, as you all know. He maxed his creativity skill recently on a whim. He has tons of skills. And um, he's, oh, someone else grew up. Oh my God, <laughs> who is that? Salt, Salt is, is now an adult as well. Salt and garlic, happy birthday. Sorry, I wasn't paying enough attention to you to realize that it was your birthday. Uh, <laughs> Midnight, we also, let's go ahead and gussy up at him. Let's change his appearance. Uh, Midnight's lifetime want is uh, to become a space pirate, which is the top of the adventurer career. He is married to Autumn, who he met in high school um, and he has just always kind of had a hard time. He also has the secondary aspiration of romance alongside his girlfriend, Autumn. I think I'm gonna keep his hair as is. I think his look right now just suits him. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change him into the clothes we got him last episode. I'd also like to mention that Seth's secondary aspiration is family. No, 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 it's not, no, it's not. His secondary aspiration is grilled cheese. So his primary aspiration is knowledge and his secondary aspiration is grilled cheese. Good for him. So for Midnight, I got him this outfit with the gloves, the V-neck. That just looked like him to me. That's Midnight, everybody. Our youngest boy, troubled, artistic, yet athletic soul, who's been cheated on and gone through a lot. He needs to look for a job today. Christy is our next one up. A Taurus, married to Seth, my favorite adult sim. Her lifetime aspiration is to eat 250 grilled, or 200 grilled cheeses. Uh, her primary aspiration being grilled cheese and her secondary aspiration being family. Uh, we also got Christy. Okay, give me just a second. This is midnight looking for a job. We don't want law. Natural scientist. I didn't even realize natural scientist was a career option. That's extremely cute. Brendan Cameron's no longer a friend and I don't care. Okay, for... Christy, I got, I wanted to get her something yellow because I felt like yellow was her color. Um, so I got her this romper. I had also gotten her like this outfit, which does suit her, honestly, but I think that I'm gonna go with the gold romper. I think that looks extremely cute on her. Let's see, for Christy, yeah, I'm kind of tempted to just leave her with braids because I think she looks, that's just her. That's Christy to me. Yeah, I'm gonna leave her with braids. Um, let me rearrange this a little bit. I didn't realize that this wasn't accessible for them. Let's put, oh God. Yeah, I'm not allowed to buy anything as you all know. So I'm just trying to get this functional without purchasing anything new. I, I think I'm gonna actually get rid of their um, stereo. Oops, 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 not that though. I'm gonna get rid of their stereo because Jesus, it's like ridiculous. Okay, and then, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's much better, I think. And then lastly, it is Autumn. She is a Gemini. She's the only one who's on track right now. She is in the, she's a ba bank robber in the criminal career track. She wants to be a criminal mastermind. She cheated on Midnight in college, but I feel like we've all agreed that that wasn't her fault. I think it was the cow's fault. And um, yeah, she's on track at least, but her aspirations are not. And unfortunately me being grounded from buy mode as a fortune sim, uh, she's not going to appreciate that, uh, but she will at least appreciate, I think going to work. But yeah, I can't buy anything. I do think everyone who is in this house who is unemployed except for Spencer, 
get a job, including our pets. So I'm gonna start working on that uh, right now. Let's start with Christy. Christy's working on her hunger. Did someone make chili? That is extremely cute. Yeah, everyone looks so fucking cute, you guys. Ah, I love it so much. Grab yourself some chili. One of the first things I want to do whenever um, we get the opportunity, when I finally have raised 50,000 simoleons and we can renovate again, is I need to expand the downstairs. I need to redo the whole kitchen and dining room space. It's not super functional right now. And I kind of need to redo like this area too, because people get stuck on the stairs quite a bit, but I'm not allowed. I am grounded, you guys. So do not let me buy anything. I have spent too much money too many times. Seth, check the job listings, please. Uh, I don't think education was listed though. So that's what's slowing us down so much is everyone's got like job specific goals and I can't get that started until the job is offered up on the, on the computer. That's something that they changed in The Sims 4. Um, in The Sims 4, you can pretty much just get a job in any field at any time, which I feel like is way too easy. That's like, I hate that. I think it's way too easy. It's always, I feel like traditionally been a challenge in The Sims getting started. If you want a specific career track, you have to just check every day for the listings. And I feel like that's like a little bit true to life. Okay, so if, if Seth cannot get a job yet in the career thing he needs, I'm gonna have him work on his novel. He can at least do that because he has maximum creativity points, which means that he will um, make, I think make a good novel. So I'm gonna go ahead and have him do that um, in the meantime so that someone, he, so he's making money in some way. Everyone is being tasked with making money today. Uh, midnight there, he needs to be in the adventurer career track, but that also is not offered up yet. So I might have him paint a picture. Christy, I think could get one of the cool sounding random jobs, but she is being a doll right now and doing Amber's job, which is cleaning the dishes which is a constant struggle in this house. I still can't get over the fact that in this episode, Christy died and we brought her back to life. That that's, that's a big deal, you guys. That, that was crazy. Please, like, we can never make fun of Seth again. He, he has single-handedly saved this series. <laughs> so go, go Seth. Um, let's go ahead and have Christy though, uh, look at the listings in the newspaper then. Christy, let's check also how, how far she is in her grilled cheese goal. I kind of want to have Christy be in the natural scientist career track because she's always been a little interested in nature. And that just seems cute. Natural scientist, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, 483 a day is pretty good. Um, I might take it. Let's do it. 7 a.m. That's good for her. I lost count of my grilled cheeses now doing that though. So I'm going to have to do it again. Hold on one second. 43. She's had 43 grilled cheese sandwiches out of her, I think 200 goal. And luckily her aspiration just goes up like every time she cooks a grilled cheese, every time someone eats one of her grilled cheeses. Uh, so as long as she's making grilled cheeses often, she is happy, which is why Christy's so amazing. Okay. We also should get all of the pets jobs. So Spencer, God, Seth is hogging the computer now. Um, maybe, and Christy's making dinner. Yeah, Autumn. Go ahead and find a job for all of our pets that don't have jobs. Oh, Grizabella's back and she made us some money too. That's good. Find a pet job for garlic, salt, and ash. All of them need to get jobs. <laughs> Can I not find a pet job for Pepper? Man, maybe Pepper's just not allowed to get a job as an elder. <laughs> okay, we already have an extra, so let's do something different. Um, who is this for? I forgot who this was even for. Service career, that works though. Okay, garlic is in the service industry. Salt and pepper are our dogs. Garlic and ash are our cats. Ravi, go the fuck home. Yeah, security. Salt is in security. Okay, so everyone go to sleep because you all are going to be having jobs soon. And that means you need to have a normal sleep schedule, something a lot of you aren't used to anymore. <laughs> what is Spencer, what is his deal? He's just like getting up and then sitting back in the bed and getting up and sitting back in the bed. How about you clean? How about you clean, buddy? Yeah, Spencer, his whole life has just followed Grizabella around and it's been the sweetest thing ever. Grizabella deserved it because she had an upbringing um, in a house as we all might remember. Play the clip, please. Uh, where she was neglected. Um, she was often neglected by her parents. So I think it's sweet that the love of her life is obsessed with her and he's constantly under her ass and it's very cute. Uh, but yeah, he should do a little more around the house for us right now because it's, it's a fucking mess. Oh my God, can you wash Pepper? Can we do everyone a solid right now? 
and wash Pepper, please. Pepper has needed a bath for like three episodes. This is just so fucking reminiscent of <laughs> Bandit, as we all might recall. What are you scolding Pepper for? We're scolding as like it's not Pepper's fault that he or she, they are stinky. The pets are like interacting and peeing all over the place. <laughs> Calmly sniffing others. Oh, they're calmly sniffing others in this house. Everyone needs to get a job. This episode of the Astro Legacy Challenge is the get a job episode. Get a job. Oh my God. Is that you, Pepper? Is this you? Just peeing and pooping and barking while they're asleep. Pepper seems like she has uh, taken a liking to Christy and Seth. I kind of enjoy it. They're both laughing at... Are they laughing at the cat being on the, on the, <laughs> on the, the countertop? Y'all saw that too, right? They were like both laughing at Ash for some reason. Christy's here. She is alive, Spencer. Isn't that great? Spencer, how did you do this? Get over here. Get, are you stuffing your face? This, I hate this more than anything in the world. When the fucking lazy Sims stuff their face and make it to where my other Sims can't make their grilled cheese sandwiches. And they take 40 years to exit out of this. Look, I have exited this for 30 years and the animation lasts 100,000 years. Spencer, my man, stop. Oh my God. See, she like gave up completely. Oh my God. <sighs> You're so angry. Okay, Seth, see, it's time for you to look for a job. Day two of job searching, piss on the on the ground. Day two, piss on the ground. I like this setup a lot better, actually. I love the bookcase kind of in the background here. Oh, adventurer is here. Okay, so Midnight's got his job today. That's, thank God. When is education gonna have an opening? Athletic, nope. Okay, nothing for Seth today. So he should just keep working on his novel. Ah, Midnight, who is in this amazing outfit and practicing his ballet, but he's got nothing more to practice because he's maxed his athletic and his creativity skill points. Um, it is now time for Midnight to grab that adventurer job from the listing. And then I think we will have three out of four of our adults finally employed, which will be great. Yeah, this, this episode is all about me being grounded the Sims getting jobs. Did I just put this out here and mean to move it and then I just never did? Because this is a site. A site. Um, let's put it out here. Yeah. That's probably where it was before. And then we put Boo's grave out here. And then I forgot about Boo, as I always do. I'm going to sell this back because it's broken and we walk everywhere. Okay, this is this should be Midnight. He's taken the adventurer job. He's got it. He's on his way now. Good job, Midnight. He wants to buy new clothes again. Midnight? I appreciate that. I appreciate that Midnight has a desire to buy new clothes just kind of randomly. Never did use the fireworks. Sorry about that, everyone. I, I don't, oh, I don't know how many times now in this one series, I think I have bought something only to immediately forget about it. And it's always for a wedding too. It's always like, oh, I'm gonna do this special thing for the wedding. And then I like, that's the one thing I don't do at the wedding. I'm sorry about that. Okay, repairman is here for our downstairs computer. Oh, is that broken too? Oh my god, I had no idea that that was broken. <laughs> it's hard to keep track of stuff in the house right now. I cannot stress enough to you guys how chaotic it, it feels to have six adults in the house. Um, I'm trying really hard. I feel like I need to come up with like an algorithm or a system for checking in on all of the adults because I feel like everything is out of my hands right now. <laughs> Especially with four, there's 10 beings in this house right now. It's very hard for me to keep track. So I'm doing my best, you guys, doing my best. I'm gonna try to check in with almost everyone, every episode, if we can. Um, so as we know, this episode, the adults were just trying to get them jobs and the elders were just letting them enjoy life and help out at the house. Um, so yeah, and we're holding off having any kids or anything. The repairman really has his work cut out for him, I'm seeing. This poor repairman, oh my God. I thought, hey guys, Amber's here. Give it up for Amber. Give it up for our, our service workers today at the Astro Legacy House, because they, they've got their work cut out for them with all the piss and the broken shit that I'm not keeping track of. Oh my God. Okay. Um, Autumn, when do you go to work, Autumn? She should go to work today, but not until this evening. Okay, good. She's got her skill points and we have 10 family friends. Out of six Sims, we have 10 friends. <laughs> so that's cool. <laughs> the drum set would be so annoying. If I lived in this family's house, I would hate the drum set so much. He wants to 
buy a vacation home. We just bought a vacation home. I'm locking in see a wolf for midnight. I think that sounds fun. Seth is juggling espresso cups. This is the kind of shit that Seth breaks out. I'm like, what, when did you learn that? Why? It's probably because he's really playful. At least he's not whistling like his mom. Can't be what just happened. No, no. <laughs> but wow. What a whimsical little family we have. I love that like Midnight and Autumn are like our cool, our cool couple. And then we've got Seth and Christy also cool, but like in their own way. Aww. She's like, I just love you, Seth. We all, we all love Seth. She's like, yeah, I get to give a hug to Seth who saved Christy from death. Who, who Christy, by the way, is just playing the synthesizer right now. She's having the time of her life. <laughs> She's an algae hunter. <laughs> this grilled cheese loving algae hunter. Oh, thank you so much, Repair Guy. Did you fix the... You did fix the, the... Okay, good. He fixed the computer. Seth, while he's unemployed, let me just double check the job listings just to be sure. Repair Guy's going home. Christy? Oh my god! Christy just maxed your creativity skill! Literally! Oh my god, hold on. Okay, yeah, Autumn hasn't quite. She's three away, but all three of, of the adults have maxed their creativity points without me having to even look. Like they did it in their spare time. We've got such a creative household. That should mean, though, that we should be able to make so much money doing creative pursuits, like paintings, playing for tips, stuff like that. We should start a family band, you guys. Okay, so Seth is still unemployed, so let's go ahead and have him continue writing the novel, because he, like his his wife, like his brother, um, has a max, max creativity skill point. Sorry, Autumn's voice was distracting me. Isabella, watch Mime Cat, since that's what you want to do today. Um, Spencer is asleep at a weird time because he probably spent because he spent the whole night just like sitting awake watching Grizabella like fucking Edward Cullen. Uh, Christy is jamming, which I love. Uh, Midnight is at work. Good for him. And then Seth is doing his novel. Excellent. Everyone is on track. Midnight has the skill points he needs. So that's good. He should hopefully get a promotion today. So we're doing good. Okay. Oh, they're always like, ah, there's a criminal, but it's, it's Autumn. It's Autumn going to work. Bye, Autumn. Have a good day at work. Okay, so we've got Midnight off at work. Uh, also, Autumn off at work. <gasps> fuck, 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 fuck. Sound the alarm, sound the alarms. Christy, Christy. Scold for destroying the furniture. Whew, she was already coming in to distract him kindly, but we need to teach them to not do that. Yeah, we do not do that, Garlic. You haven't heard that yet, but we do not do that. Garlic looks just like Ash. I think we need to get some accessories for these pets so I can tell them apart. And I know that there is the option to change pets appearance. So let's do that really quick. For Garlic, I, they are different and it's rude of me to not be able to tell their difference. Ash is now an elder. So he's got some salt and pepper on his face and stuff that tell, make me differentiate them, but whatever. Oh, look at this. Oh shit. Oh, I could recolor, you know? Uh, garlic, is there a garlic color that I could change you to? It seems wrong though. Cause like changing the coat is actually changing the species of the cat. So that just feels wrong. So they are light brown. They claim that this is beige, but we've unlocked this colorful. Goofy? Ooh! Now that's a garlic I can get behind. Let's do that. Salt is like a little, uh, just- Ah! Salt! You fucking asshole! Stop! This is what I hate about pets is they'll, they'll destroy the furniture and it's really annoying. Okay, let's check out the makeover we just gave. Oh my god, garlic, you look beautiful! Garlic's off to work in his new clown gear. Garlic, you fucking looker! Yes, Garlic. Have fun. The phone is ringing. Can we answer the phone, please? Grisabella's not available to talk. <laughs> Ever. Grisabella would like to buy a car, but I'm grounded, so we will not buy a car. Sorry, Grisabella. It's not like you ever used the car when we had one, is all I gotta say about that. I love to see most of the house at work. That's nice. We need more money in this house, goddammit. Okay, someone's home. It was uh, midnight. He has been promoted to Dread Pirate. Arr, the seven seas belong to your fleet of terror. No merchant ship crosses the ocean without the fear of conquest and piracy. Well, I feel like that sounds very cool in Pirates of the caribbean -y. Oh, check out his outfit too, ha! I love that. Um, that is probably a little problematic that Midnight is a pirate, but that's cool. He's gonna eventually be a space pirate. I kind of want to see what level of that, the, that career is. Let me see. Okay, yeah, he hopped up to 
Dread Pirate, which is level six. That's pretty cool. So he has, he only has four, four levels to go to get to his lifetime one. That's very cool. Okay, well, good job, Midnight. I'm proud of you. You did really good. He needs to work on his mechanical skill points now. It's been a while since they've needed to work on a skill point. So that's pretty cool. Um, thankfully, we have a lot of bookcases in their room. I'm gonna have him study mechanical. Christy the algae hunter has gone to bed at a reasonable hour. Her skills are doing good for work tomorrow at 8 a.m. So she's good. Seth is working on his novel still. Spencer is, a sl is just watching Grizabella sleep like Edward Cullen. He wants Ash to retire. Should we let Ash retire? I guess we should. Maybe, maybe old pets shouldn't have to work in this house. Let's do that. Yeah, go ahead and let Ash retire. There we go. Yeah, he wanted to see Ash retire and live a good life. Ash is now going to earn us $44 a day. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, Autumn has returned and she has been promoted to Cat Burglar. Um, let's see what level that is really quick. Which is level 7. Cool. So both uh, Midnight and Autumn only have like 3 or 4 levels to go. And we've hit 15,000. So just what, like 35,000 to go? And then I will be ungrounded from build mode. And buy mode. Yeah, which is good, because a lot of the Sims want to buy stuff, and I'm like, sorry kids, I can't, I'm grounded. <laughs> uh, she needs mechanical points too! Oh, it's just like like college all over again. We need a bookcase downstairs, but I can't get it because I'm grounded, so uh, she can go upstairs and study like Midnight is doing. Okay, we're he finished his novel. Good job, Seth. Answer the phone really quick, because I think we are going to get a copy of your novel. I want to see how it does. Good, Seth's novel is selling great, and he got some money too. That's great! Seth is, is truly making our family proud. He has always just done good stuff. And there's the novel. There is the novel that we speak of. Seth's novel. Very nice. Okay, so I'm sending everyone to bed and kind of getting everyone into the next day so that we can go ahead and check the, the listings one more time. If Seth gets his job, we're done. If there are no listings, we will get Seth his job next episode. Okay, good. Autumn has the day off, so I might let her sleep soon. She could just get that one skill. Oh my god, who turned on the TV? Christy! It was it was such a rude thing of me to put electronics in this room. <laughs> so it's like, I'm fucking trying to sleep. Christy, come on now. Daydream. Da Stop it, Christy! Christy, are you doing this on purpose? Come on now. Daydream. <laughs> just daydreaming about some rando. <laughs> Um, so we got midnight skill points. We'll have another one to get for autumn tomorrow. We need to get Pepper out of their bed. Okay, 4 a.m. The time that the whole house gets started for some unknown reason. <laughs> okay, so Christy's gonna go to work soon. Seth is catching up on his sleep. He's almost there in an hour. Seth, why don't you look for a job real quick? Education! There it is! It was like it was meant to be, you guys. Okay, so Seth is taking his job in education. We have now achieved all of the goals that I kind of set out to do this episode, which was basically, I'm grounded, I can't buy or spend any money. That's gonna remain until we get to 50,000 simoleons. And I got all four adults in the house a job. Autumn is now a cat burglar, working towards her lifetime goal of becoming a criminal mastermind. Christy is now an algae hunter. She's still just working on her grilled cheese aspiration, but she's also gonna be bringing in income to the house. We love her. Uh, Midnight is a dread pirate, level six of his adventurer career. And uh, he is on his way to become a space pirate. His wants are low. Oh, oh, he wants to go on a Far East vacation. I'm locking that in. And then Seth, lastly, just got his job as a high school teacher, which is so cute. I think he looks like a high school teacher. That's, and he's smelly and he's playing games instead of getting ready for work that is gonna start in an hour. Just true to form for Seth. But he did just write a best-selling novel this episode, so we're still happy. He saved Christy from death this episode, so I will forgive Seth. He's leaving stink on the chair. That's so funny, there's piss everywhere. But you guys, this is where I must leave you today. All four of our adults are now employed. All four of our pets are also employed. The one retired, uh, two olders, elders, two elder pets, they get to stay and enjoy life. Like all the elders in this house get to enjoy life. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this episode, please consider giving it a like. Uh, please drop your congrats on getting a job uh, in the comments below uh, to whichever Sim is your favorite of the four adults in the house. 
Or if your favorite's one of the elders or pets, let me know. I would love to know if your favorite happens to be Spencer for some reason. I want to know. I want to know what you guys think because I love your comments. Uh, sorry, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. New episodes of The Sims 2 Astro Legacy Challenge come out every Monday and every Wednesday we have a new Kingdom Hearts episode released on Kingdom Hearts Wednesdays. We are currently on Kingdom Hearts 1 and I am doing it with my co-host Seth, who is a Capricorn. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This was an exciting episode. We got a lot done for once and I will look forward to talking to you, not seeing you, but talking to you next week on The Sims 2 Astro Legacy Challenge. Bye bye No, 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 Spencer. That is inappropriate. Stop that. Yes, both of the adult women in this house are very hot but you are not allowed. Not allowed!